I'm Jay Scott Morrison. I bitch about it so you fuckers can listen. Oh, wow. I just watched the most magical, entertaining and happiest ever film I've ever watched. And that was Avengers The Infinity Wars Part 1. <laughs> oh, such a happy ending. I've never seen such a glorious, insightfully happy ending. Oh, my days. Uh, you know what? Everyone has been bitching and moaning about me about this film. I, I, I'll be genuine here as well. They've been saying, oh, Morris, you're going to hate this. It's going to be absolutely so god awfully shit. You're going to cry. You, you, you're going to hate the direction they're going. Oh, it's, it's going to be so sad. Fucking nonsense. I fucking loved it. <laughs> what are you talking about, you fucking pussies? This is exactly what I wanted in a fucking movie. You had a fucking badass fucking villain who has an ultimate goal and there are consequences to this ultimate goal. This was fantastic. It was a bloodbath, but God damn it, most of the best films that I enjoy end in bloodbaths. It was fantastic. What are you talking about, you pussies? It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, I, I kept looking at the, um, this Thanos guy um, who was played by Josh Brolin, uh, who I just found out was uh, the big brother in The Goonies, uh, which was weird because I literally just watched that film. Uh, and it was a fantastic performance on his part, but I was just looking at his design and I was just thinking, where have I seen that sort of chin before? A you know, sort of jaw structure. It looked... Vaguely familiar. Uh, and I sort of kept thinking of Hellboy. He sort of looked, reminded me of that. And then it sort of dawned on me. There was an episode of South Park, right? Series 6. Where Butters gets a, a bunch of prosthetic balls. And glues them to his chin. So that it appears that he's wearing his testicles on his chin. So he can go on the Maury Povich show. And, um, and get like free stuff. Because apparently... Apparently, according to Southport Park, Maury Povich likes to give like sort of people with disabilities and like sort of ailing disfigurements like prizes and shit. Well, as soon as I got that picture in my head, I just realised Thanos is Ball Chin Man or Chin Boy Ball, Chin Ball Boy or whatever. But anyway, Ball Chin Man uh, basically has this um, ultimate goal of uh, wiping out half of the entire population of the entire universe of so everything that's living he basically he wants to eradicate half of everything and the reason being is that um he thinks that if like if we doesn't do that then we're all just going to replenish our resources and we're all going to die anyway which basically makes all those fucking bell sniffs who on facebook like typing in sort of like oh fanis was right absolute genocide or cock munchers like fucking assholes but you know what i seriously would recommend this film i'm not going to give spoilers about who dies and you know what happens at the end although it is almost painfully obvious but i completely agree with the direction that they've gone here and honestly it's almost guaranteed that i'm going to watch the sequel i'm definitely going to watch part two there's absolutely no denying that that i'm going to watch part two and it's you know it's a story that's you know, I definitely sort of want wrapped up. There's quite a few decent loose ends here, and it's not like sort of round, like like knocked or rammed down your throat either. It's sort of stuff that you do have to ponder. Um, so yeah, um, other stuff that I suppose I could sort of talk about. Uh, Peter Dinglish, uh, the little dwarf guy from Game of Thrones, they did something really fucked up to him. Uh, like they turned him into a giant. Sort of as the comedic effect, he looks fucking weird. Oh, that was a creep. That's creepy of a ball chin man. I'll be honest with you, that that did not look right at all. Uh, I think they did something to his voice as well, but it was just sort of a joke that, yeah, for me, just didn't pan out really. Um, in fact, a lot of the humour uh, this time round wasn't particularly fantastic. I've seen better, like fair, really, and. <sighs> Yeah, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, they usually like sort of the stars of a show. They, they weren't that fantastic there this time around. Although there was a, quite a few cast members in this one, uh, without a doubt. Um, but Quinn was pretty awesome, I suppose, as he always is. 
Um, one of the most touching scenes was with uh, Gamora and Thanos. And again, I won't spoil anything, but um, it it layers the character quite well. I, I honestly think that this guy is now my favourite villain of all time. Uh, honestly, probably even better than, say, Darkseid. And I'm a DC guy all the way. And despite that, despite liking the DC style uh, a hell of a lot more than the Marvels, I've got to say, this one thing that this movie has successfully done, and that has made me want to actually read the Infinity Wars, like the actual saga. I actually want to watch that now, or sorry, read or buy the comics now. Uh, and that's something that has rarely ever happened uh, from when I watch a comic book film. Like when I watched Civil War, like if I, when I watched Civil War, I was I didn't have much of an inkling to to read Civil War, or you know when I watched um, like sort of like the Justice League or Batman, there was no sort of like call, cool, like there was no sort of desire to to read certain like aspects of the bat the Batman comics or uh, you know or any or any other stuff. I've never wanted to sort of uh look into it. even Guardians of the Galaxy when that dropped. I, I kind of I kind of looked on the internet and I I sort of you know from what people said it was it was sort of a mediocre sort of comic book series. I mean that was sort of what the everyone was so underwhelmed about in the first place. It wasn't exactly a a well-known or even that fan amazing a comic book series, but hey, they did it anyway, and it fucking generated a shit ton of money. But anyway, I, I I don't know what everyone's fucking complaining about. This was a fucking great film. Everyone's all fucking teary-eyed and saying, oh, 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 fucking, you fucking died. Well, tough. Fucking people die. There are consequences to world fucking, world-changing, universal breaking events. Of course people are going to die, so fucking get over yourselves. There's, a, there's going to be plenty more such as... I mean, that's the problem. That's the thing. You've got a Marvel Universe. Nobody is expendable. You've got multiple Spider-Man and Iron Man and, uh, you know, multiple of... Oh, always. And by the way, they're not spoilers. I'm just saying them as an example. There are multiple versions of different heroes. The Guardians of the Galaxy. There's only one version of the Guardians of the Galaxy. There's multiple... Of, members and like variations of the group I and mean, that's i mean the people that we watched in the cinema that's not the original guardians by any stretch of the imagination anyway uh i fucking loved it I, i'm geared up for for part two there's plenty of decent fucking movies knocking about this year uh deadpool 2 the han solo film so you're gonna see more of these fucking reviews but um all those fucking like people bitching and moaning and making up those fucking silly little memes where everyone just fucking disintegrates and evaporates. Grow the fuck up, boys. Fucking get those fucking balls out and just fucking... Mmm, it's fun. Just fucking just do some press-ups or something. Honestly, you're a bunch of fucking faggots. God damn it. Just get over yourselves, duh, boys. Come on. It's not that fucking sad. It's fucking great. It's just clean slate, new beginnings. Got a reason to fucking hate this villain. And god damn it, all the fucking people that are, are sort of left standing, they can fucking go in there with fucking reason to beat the fuck out of this guy. It's fantastic. It's great. I'm I'm pumped. I'm ready for, for part two. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully you'll have a great day. To the pip.